on there. That was only a Meet the microchip. Even if you don't own a computer and you've never been near one, you probably come in contact with this little device every day. The chip is commonplace now, but it didn't even exist until this man, Jack Kilby, unveiled a rather crude prototype of it 30 years ago today. What Kilby did 30 years ago today was to do the first miniature chip, but he had to hand wire it. And it took another nine months for Bob Noyce to figure out how you did it with chemistry. Because today's chips are all done in chemical factories without the touch of human hands. People wear bunny suits, but none of the bunnies touch the transistors. Kilby's integrated circuit board revolutionized computer technology. Machinery that was once enormous was reduced to a more manageable size. Yes. You're telling me this thing that takes up basically much of the expanse of this wall here. Oh, this is this plus is this over here. Here, plus four stories. Of four this. stories of this. Of this is Cut. now into a, the size of a small computer. That's right. Desktop computer. Right? Desktop because of the chip. Without the chip, yeah. that could never have happened. The modern computers at the Computer Museum in Boston are a testament to the rapid advances in artificial intelligence made possible by Kilby's teeny tiny chip. And the museum's founding president says, we haven't seen anything yet. And I have a running shoe here with a transistor, a transistorized chip in it, and this will tell you uh, how long you ran the last time, how many miles you're running, how many calories you're using. And so we find that chips are in everything. There are something like uh, well over a hundred chips in today's cars. There's chips in your radar range. Everything that we have has chips. The chip has also found its way into the modern newsroom, into the unsure hands of reporters such as myself. Bear with me. I've only had this thing a few weeks. For the 10 o'clock news, I'm Marcus Jones.